When I started Pod, a protein drinks business, I had to closely consider the customers I was selling to, as well as my suppliers, possible substitute products for mine, and other competitors beating me to the retailer's fridge. I sold to a distribution company. They sold to the retailer. Let's examine this from the distributor's perspective. This is the industry we are going to analyse against Porter's Five Forces. What level of power did I have over my buyer, a distribution company? The more drinks a distributor moves, the greater their revenue. So they want high volume products from suppliers. If I can't show I'm selling strong numbers, I have lower power. The distributors also sell a wide range of drinks. Therefore, the relative cost of my products to the buyer is not that high. I might make up 5% of their revenue, not 50%. But at the same time, the distributor can't just switch from one brand to another if the brand doesn't sell well. If I get market presence and the end customer knows my brand, then my power increases. To me, as a supplier, a distributor has networks, which is critical to getting my product onto the retail shelves. My product is unique for now, but what if other protein waters come into the market? Then the buyer has multiple options and their switching costs are relatively low. My power has diminished. One option I do have open to me that changes the game is forwards integration. What if I decide I can distribute my product directly to the retailer? I move down the value chain and become the distributor. Many small drinks companies do this once they become large enough to justify the investment. Distribution companies have no interest in backwards integrating because the capital and intellectual property makes the payback not attractive. I believe the supplier power in this distribution industry is low. To recap, it's important to understand that determining the level of power is not black and white. There will be aspects that give the supplier more power and other things that weaken it. Remember to ask yourself these questions when completing your analysis. How many suppliers are there in this market? Can their customers easily switch from one supplier to the other? Can the supplier forwards integrate down the value chain or can the industry competitor backwards integrate and cut the supplier out? Does the supplier hold information at their disposal that gives them a competitive advantage? Answer some or all of these questions and you will be able to determine supplier power.